Hello, hello, good morning, my new human tribe. My name is Oracle Jesse. she, her, hers. I'm here to serve the new humans and the old souls. And today is Sunday, October 11th, and we're here for our weekly guidance reading. So, first off is <clears throat> the Animal Knowledge Deck. Um, if you haven't already, please feel free to join our community on Facebook. The It's called New Human Central Facebook Group. And I do regular live readings over there where you can get a free one card reading every week. This, this past week I had to do it on Thursday instead of Tuesday, but, you know. Usually it's tea and tarot Tuesdays. So let's look a ahead to this upcoming week, October 11th, 2020, our guidance reading. And our animal card for this week is the rabbit. The symbolism here is power, abundance, heroism, and season cycles of life. So with this, I'm seeing that the cycles are the important part here as far as the the symbolism so trying to take the seasons out of order trying to harvest when it's time to plant is just not gonna work um and another weird thing that i've been seeing recently is like the um i've been seeing a couple people like on facebook or tiktok or whatever that there are certain plants that wouldn't necessarily flower or fruit at this time are still doing it. So um, just paying attention to what's going on around in your natural environment and then also paying attention to the own to your own seasons and cycles because the rhythms that we have don't necessarily always match up with what's going on and the expectation that society has for us. It's not the same. So if we continue to trust ourselves and trust the process, then we have the ability to keep going and keep moving in that direction. Um, also, rabbit is... Um, very much closely associated with power and abundance so just knowing that natural abundance is around and being able to find and appreciate that abundance that is that is around is um going to be really important so that you can tap into that power okay next next i'm gonna use our mystical shaman oracle deck for our guidance reading for the week ahead. If you are watching this video and it is no longer the week of October 11th, 2020, this is the perfect time for you to be watching this video. And we had a card jump out of this, so I guess it's time to look at the card. So. This is Pachamama, and this is very much getting in touch with the earth, about tapping into the earth and what the earth needs and wants during this time. And I'm seeing a lot of red and yellow here, and it's just reminding me of the fires that are, that are going on, we're going on, and just allowing that birth rebirth through fire and the the phoenix here rising from the ashes is um is going to be really important for this time so i would say as far as guidance going into this next week really getting in touch with the elements of fire and earth and how can we bring our passions into fruition in more real and tangible ways 
Um, yeah, that's what I've got for that one. And the next one here is going to be the reverse witness. <clears throat> We've had witness before, but with it being reversed, this is going to be talking about the internal journey that we're going on. So how can we watch ourselves from the inside from an, with an outsider's point of view? How can we, how can we be more self-reflective, more observant of what's going on within ourselves, and tap into that, to more self-awareness with, um, as far as the subconscious goes? And how can we use that inner knowing and inner knowledge to connect more with our outer world and um, the, the world that we love and the world that we're loving and creating? Our undercurrent here, which is underneath the deck, is one of my favorite cards. I really love this deck. Um, is the beauty way. So this is just the idea of walking around and appreciating beauty just as it is. Everything is perfect. Everything is wonderful. Everything is going in its own perfect time. This There's nothing that we should be doing. There's nothing that we should be doing differently. There's nothing that we need to be focusing on. Instead, it's a shift in perspective again with the perspective thing here it's a shift in perspective to know that beauty exists and beauty is that is the way of naturally showing up in the world of naturally doing things so this is just going to be so important moving forward this week that everything even though it may look a little different or a little chaotic, or a little uh, less than ideal. It is perfect. It is the way it's supposed to be. It's how we are moving forward, how, we're, how we are being asked to come forward into this new world that we are building for ourselves. So yeah, okay, water break. Okay, next, I'm going to use the Gateway to the Divine Realms tarot deck. We'll see what, we'll see what comes up for us here. I shuffle my cards like a little 52 card deck, but whenever I get the the little normal card decks i feel like they're too small now because these cards are so big okay pull here you see card number one here is going to be the reverse four of coins so something that we've been keeping really close and really guarded we're going to be opening up about um for some this might be um this might be energy, this might be love even, this might be, um, this might be personal finances and money. We're going to be releasing that energy and allowing things to go, um, freely as they would. And we're, we're going to be releasing our stop gate of flow. This might look really really messy this might look really really um it it's going to look very different for each and every single person but everyone watching this at this time is going to be releasing and again if you're watching this and it's no longer the week of the 11th of october this is the perfect time for you to be watching this so everyone watching is just going to have an experience a big huge release in some way so, don't be afraid of uh, letting the, the things flow as they are and um, just appreciate the beauty that's, that is the process of trusting Source 
and knowing everything's going to be okay. So next, card number two here is going to be the Four of Cups. Okay, also in the same way, we are going to be focusing on that dream and the ideal in so much that we are going to be ignoring all of the um, current things that we have, the current um, systems that we have in place, the current help that we have, because we are so focused on that. So being aware of all the other stuff might distract us from our goal. So it's just something, this is more like a, more like a heads up card, I feel like, as far as what is it that you really want and where do you want to focus your energies? So do you really want to shift your focus off of all the other things and focus on this one thing that, and go for it? So it's just like building that building that awareness for yourself and um fours having two fours coming up in this reading is um really important this is a universal year four fours are about building foundations connecting with the angels and um yeah just moving forward with a solid foundation okay card number three is the page of coins and this is a person or type of person we all flow easily pretty easily in between all of the court cards so this person is learning something new learning a new craft learning about money and finances and in some way and so this person is bringing that new energy, breathing new life into themselves in a way that allows for the, the passion to still be there. And the intellect is working really hard because it is something new. So it's not quite internalized yet. So it's all in the headspace, in the air, in the headspace, and not not yet manifested into the physical because they are still learning and they are still new. So if you feel like this person is you, um, that's that's a process that you're taking on for yourself. And then if you feel like there's something, someone else in your life that that would fit this description, if I could talk, then um then yeah that that makes sense as well so keep a lookout for that person or for that energy this week our undercurrent here is going to be the ace of cups this is very much an emotional week and emotion a lot of emotions are coming to the surface this week and that's not necessarily a bad thing this is remember the the emotions on our journey tell us where we're focus is and I feel like this for this cup is very very much this cup here in the four of cups because they look very similar I don't know if you can see that but they do um so yeah just the idea of moving forward with your emotions as guides, signposts, um, towards moving forward with them to help you process where, where we're going. And what just caught my eye here was this, um, this, the base of the chalice here. The base of the cup looks like a coin so very much maybe we're too reactive this week or um, as far as 
reacting to the stuff that's around us. And um, instead of creating from within. So that's something I would caution against, actually. And then we also have the star card in the undercurrent here and the fool. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Just allow yourself to be new and embrace all of the new experiences and love yourself moving forward. So that's what I've got. I will post pictures up on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you all. And yeah, I'll see you next week, if not sooner. Hasta luego, bye bye.